One of my favorite questions that I get working at a winery is how can a wine express certain characteristics of fruits like lemon or baking spice like vanilla? Like many newbies to wine, I used to think that those certain fruits or baking spices were soaked in the wine in order for the flavor to be extracted, but that is not actually how it works. What's really happening is that the aromatic compounds that we typically associate with specific fruits or baking spices are also present in either the wine grapes or other parts of the wine production process and thus give rise to those scents just at lower concentrations. For instance, the chemical compound citral is highly concentrated in lemon, giving it its distinct taste and smell. So whenever you taste a lemon, you're detecting high concentrations of citral. But this compound is also present in the skins and flesh of certain white grape varieties such as Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc, and Riesling just at lower concentrations. So when you get subtle notes of citral in your wine, you could say, ah, this reminds me of a lemon. The same concept applies when you taste baking spices such as vanilla or cinnamon in your wine. This ultimately occurs when the aging or fermentation process occurs in an oak barrel. For instance, the chemical compound vanillin is highly concentrated in the vanilla bean. So we have always been associating this compound with this type of flavor for most of our lives. But this chemical compound is also present in oak barrels just at lower concentration. So when you get subtle hints of vanillin in a Chardonnay or Cabernet Sauvignon, which are typically aged in oak barrels, you can just say, ah, this wine has tasting notes of vanilla. 